Hello friends, Stephen Talbot here and today is Friday, January the 20th and uh, I think I told you guys yesterday that we were expecting some bad weather and I actually just came out uh, side. I was going to run to the store really quick and uh, I, what I couldn't tell from my balcony, I thought well the weather doesn't look that bad to me, but check it out, like everything is like frozen solid, this is like a solid sheet of ice, it took me forever to get my door open. Um, the street is not slick, but I think that's probably because my, our parking lot was salted. I'm not sure how the roads are. It is really cold. Anyway, <clears throat> weather aside, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is the final P in Jonathan Fields' success scaffolding framework. Uh, so just to recap really quickly, actually I'm not going to recap. If you guys want to watch the other P's, there are a total of seven P's. Today is the final P. Um, then I would encourage you to go and watch the previous videos on this playlist, which is called "You New Year, New You, How to Live Your Best Life in 2018. Um, so with that, I'm just going to move on into the final P of this framework, which is practice. And it's not so much in the sense of practice that you hear all the time, practice, practice, practice. You know, if you, if you want to... If you want to be a great pianist, you need to practice, practice, practice. What I really mean is on a daily basis, you need to, or not you, me as well. I've talked about this many times in my other videos when I've talked about uh, the importance of morning rituals or daily rituals or the the way that our minds and our brains work when it, when it comes to formulating a new habits. It's not necessarily that we need to break old habits. It's that we actually need to turn bad habits into new, better habits. Because um, that's the way our brain works. We really, we really never get rid of a habit. We actually only trade one thing for another. So if you're smoking and you want to quit smoking, then it's likely that you could ch ch change that smoking habit into something like walking or running around the block or something like that so when I say practice I just mean that you need to commit we need to commit to ourselves and these small steps and using the other P's that I talked about in previous videos in this part of this whole sort of success scaffolding we have to really um, make it our goal and our mission for the first 21 days of any new habit or, in, or, or implementing any new process inside of this framework we need to do it to at least 21 days so that it becomes a habit. And once it becomes a habit, it becomes second nature. And once it becomes second nature, you know, things just sort of, um, things just sort of fly that way. Um, so are, are they sort of like, you know what I'm saying? Like for the first, I can look back and think for the first 21 days that I exercised every day, um, or the first 21 days, even the first 21 days that I decided to drink like a gallon of water a day, it's like, the first few days suck. It's tough. It's like, oh, I really don't want to do this. I do not want to get up out of bed this early. I do not want to take a cold shower or, 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 you know, turn the water on cold while I'm taking a shower. I don't want to do this or I don't want to do that. And then after 21 days, everything sort of transforms and it becomes so easy. Um, so if you can just make yourself do things, no matter what your New Year's resolutions are, um, if you can just sort of make yourself do things, then, oh, I gotta get inside the car. It's inside of the car, honey, because it's freezing. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, if you can just sort of, you know, keep to, just commit to yourself that you're gonna try something new. Just for the first 18 to 21 days, I think that that is enough time to uh, make, make it become a habit and I think things become a lot easier after that. So just to recap really quick, the final P in the success scaffolding uh, by the Good Life Project, Jonathan Fields of the Good Life Project is P is for practice. So that is our final P. I hope that you can take some, I know that this, I sort of split this up into bits and pieces. If you guys are, are interested in listening to an, about an hour long, an hour um if you're interested in having all of these P's, you know, process, pledging, people, uh, planning, um, possibility, um, picture, uh, and, and uh, the, one, the one yesterday was practical planning, and now finally practice, if you would like to hear all of these sort of in a single discussion, then I strongly encourage you to check out The Good Life Projects by Jonathan Fields. Um, he did an episode, I'm going to link to it in the pot, in the description below, but he did an episode 
on his podcast where he sort of talks about this in, in much greater detail and in a more succinct manager or in a more succinct manner. And he's much more the professional at this stuff than I am. Uh, I just sort of re or summarized uh, or paraphrased what he had to say for you guys because I wanted to share it with you. Um, so, and, and plus, you know, just to be honest, it gave me some content. I thought it'd be a good idea to do a series that I actually stuck with. So this is the seventh and the final episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in more series episodes like this about how to better your life, or, or if you just want to know the things that I'm doing and implementing in my own life, then I hope that you will give me a thumbs up and that you'll leave me a comment below to let me know. If you have any questions as well, any suggestions, comments, I would also very much appreciate you putting those down in the comment section below. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please take a second to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you have any, I already said that, of course. <laughs> Look, okay, it is like freezing outside and my, my whole body, I feel like my whole body is just moving a little bit slower. So, and we already said that. Um, with that, guys, I guess I will bid you guys farewell and until next time, enjoy yourself.